But Marcel is in here, dressed in full Peter Chris Kiss gear as we speak. He's got the bandoliers going on. He's got the full cat makeup and everything, the collar on, the whole deal. He's a diehard Kiss fan. Because you're also in a Kiss tribute band, right, Marcel? Yes, yes. They're called Fried Alive. Fried Alive. All right, cool. Yes, I've uh, just joined them about uh, three months ago. Uh -huh. we, we did our first show in Barrie, and it rocked. Did it really? Yeah. yeah the awesome. drummer in the band. Yeah. How long have you guys been together? Uh, three well, months. They, they've well, been around been for about five years. So yeah. I just joined them about three months ago okay. because their recent drummer had uh, left and parted ways. Yeah, and okay. He's moved on. It's like the original Kiss. Yeah, 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 exactly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they went through a good few drummers on that side, yeah. All right, cool. And uh, have you always been a diehard Kiss fan? I've always liked Kiss. I've played songs sort of with another band else as well. We're called To Have Control or THC, The Substance of Rock. Yeah, cool. And uh, we're supposed to be coming out with a new CD soon. And uh, Joe's going to be helping us with some stuff. Yeah. And, and really looking forward to this whole thing with the Kiss thing. I'm really excited about the whole thing. Cause That's cool. I've never been in a Kiss tribute band. I've always watched them like in the Paul Lynn show. And yeah, yeah. And special. And I was like, wow, I want to be like that. And then all of a sudden, here I am. I'm <laughs> you're in there. <laughs> it's like your own version of Rockstar. Ever watch that show, Family Jewels? Oh, yeah, yeah that's hilarious. Gene Simmons, Simmons yeah. yeah. Especially when you're trying to meet up his uh, greatest Kiss fan. Yeah. Bring up all his clothes and everything. Well, he meets you. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That's awesome. And you might be able to meet you as well, because here's the deal. In case anybody's listening for the first time, you don't know what's going on here. Uh, Kiss has announced they're going to go on tour again real soon. And they're going to leave it up to the online community to vote in their locations. They're saying the most votes gets the tour spots, right? So they just announced it a couple of weeks ago. We've been hitting this pretty hard. Our good buddies, uh, Bryce McVicker and everybody there at the Intel have gotten behind this as well. Some other people as well have seen signs up. Uh, they're trying to get you guys to vote to get Kiss here to Belleville. Even if you're if you're in Napanee, if you're in Brighton, if you're in Trenton, whatever, let's all vote on the one location. Uh, just to try and concentrate it as best as we can. And so far, bless your heart, you guys have, have done great work on this because we started out and we were like job. around 160, and now we're at 74, Ooh. which is awesome. That's a great amount of movement. Keep them coming. Yeah, and Marcel, you got a lot of attention with that article in the Intel as well, yes, which did. was yes, great. Works. So everybody's getting these votes in here. you got to go to rock107.ca. We've got the banner right there. You click on the link, and guys, we need to get as many votes in here as possible. If you have multiple computers, multiple emails, you can vote multiple times. A lot of people like to know when's the deadline for this voting. That's the weird that's thing. What, they don't show it on yeah, here. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not sure if they're just leaving it as open as possible until they can lock it in. Yeah. Maybe they're hoping to get a certain amount of votes or something like that. But the thing that has me a little, little bit concerned is number two is Oshawa. We can't have that. No, we can't have the dirty can't Schwab. can't have that at all. The <laughs> dirty <laughs> Schwab. No way. No, no, no. So we got to get ourselves up there. I'm hoping that we should be able to crack the top 50 before this thing shuts down. And if that happens, we got a good shot, right? Because Definitely. usually a big, a big tour across North America, you're going to hit more than 50 spots. Uh, if we can crack that top 10, though, it's going to be undeniable. So we got to get in there, guys. We, we want to get in there. We need to be there. Wouldn't it be great if uh, Friday Live could be the opening act? That'd be awesome. Hey, really? Okay. Right. Yes, yes, totally. How nervous would you be if they asked How you to open nervous? up? How um, nervous? I'd be like going on stage and like, uh, I got to go to the washroom. Right <laughs> <laughs> you have to go specially equipped if you know what we're talking about. <laughs> All right, very cool. And so far, how about other booking dates for you guys? Because uh, you uh, said you've had the one concert in Barrie so far. Yeah, uh, well, Joe's working on with an agent, and yeah. uh, he's keeping things hush-hush, uh, and he'll be uh, releasing stuff on the Friday Live website. So okay. just got to go to the uh, search Friday Live on Google. Yeah. and uh, it's the first one that pops up, because that's yeah. what I did here. Yeah. It's uh, a Canadian uh, number one uh, Kiss Canada's Experience. Kiss Experience, Friday Live. It's right yes. there. All you got to do is Google it, and it's the very first one that pops up. That's awesome. You know, if I make a suggestion, I know the Babel Chamber of... Uh, Commerce is getting behind you guys as well, helping you guys out. Yeah. You guys get in the, the Bubble Waterfront Festival, man. That would be awesome. Yeah, you know? Sure. Yeah. Cool. Let's yeah. Get you. And anybody who's looking to book a gig in town as well, too. I mean, they're always looking to try and yeah. shuffle up some of the bands in town. Contact Fry Live as well. Again, you just Google it. Because especially with this Kiss thing going on right now, it'd be great to have a couple Absolutely. of good concerts going yeah. on. Yeah. Man, Marcel, I think it's awesome you got dressed up in your get-up here yeah, for us this yes. morning. Got to ask you a couple quick questions. What's your favorite Kiss song? My favorite Kiss song would be Detroit Rock City. Detroit Rock City, yeah, nice. Really destroy this, the whole stage. Yeah? That's awesome. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. And you actually sing uh, Beth when you do a yes, live concert, I do. too, yes. right? Yes, I can probably go grab the, the karaoke uh, CD, and then we can play it, and I can sing along to it if you like. That's cool. Well, we'll, we'll, see, if, we'll see if we can squeeze that one in here. And how about uh, your favorite Kiss drummer? My favorite kiss. Because I know they went through a couple. You're you're obviously dressed as Peter Chris. 
Yeah, well, uh, I liked uh, Eric Carr because he yeah. was very dominant in his playing and everything, cool. and he was a lot heavier, and he really brought the heavy metalness in the, the Kiss. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right, well, Marcel, thank you very much for dropping thank by with your gear. We'll see, we, we'll see if we can get that CD in here and get him in here again to, to perform another tune for us. Uh, but again, guys, go to rock107.ca, click the little Kiss banner, and demand to get Kiss here in Belleville. Good for you guys out there. Keep climbing ourselves up there. We're going to get them here, and I think that'll be a great show. Again, Marcel, thank you very much, buddy. You're welcome. Thanks, thank you. All right, we got you.